Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm back with another Lush review. And this time around I have the Superworld Unknown Perfume. Now this perfume is currently available in Lush's range in the 100ml size only as a part of the perfume library. I also have the 100ml size. I was very lucky to get this second hand at quite a cheap price from a seller. Um, so yeah, that's that's the reason why I have it in my collection. I don't tend to buy a lot of the 100ml perfumes. It's just not something I gravitate towards to um, just because of the size of the perfume. It just overwhelms me and I don't feel like I'm ever going to get through it. So yeah, that's basically why I don't tend to have a lot of these, but it's the only size that comes in. It was on sale through a seller and I thought, yeah, why not? Let's get into it. So the scent notes of Superworld Unknown are Sicilian Lemon Oil, Cassia Oil, Neroli Oil, Rose Absolute, Cocoa Absolute, Benzone Resonoid, and some other little bits and pieces. Now, I have to read this description out to you guys because this is just fantastic. It says, run away to the circus with this fantastically tart and gourmand perfume, evocative of sherbet fountains, toffee apples, and candy floss. Originally created for Be Never Too Busy To Be Beautiful in 2008. So Be Never Too Busy To Be Beautiful, if you're not familiar with that name, is what Lush Cosmetics used to be called before Lush Cosmetics was Lush Cosmetics. So yeah, there you go. Now, I definitely agree with that summation to a degree. I definitely feel like there's a gourmand vibe to this. It's quite mild though, like the Coco Absolute always gives me gourmand vibes it just gives me that food like smell that sweetness that sort of that richness it just it's beautiful but i definitely smell quite a bit of those florals here as well um the rose is very present here um it's quite strong you know the sandalwood is a nice base note it's not overpowering things um and once again there's not a heavy sweetness here it's just once again, it's sort of delicately been placed there. It's not over the top. It's just that perfect um, amount of sweetness without going too over the top. I don't, yeah, like I don't completely agree with the blurb on it. I think it's very nice, um, but it's definitely not as sweet as they're making it out to be. Um, it's just, it's very, very pretty scent. It's a very pretty scent. It does have a lot of feminine energy to it, I feel. It's definitely more of a female scent than a masculine scent. I will say that. Definitely that rose is quite strong in this. Um, it's just a really pretty scent. I just, I feel like the best way I can describe it is you're walking through a farmer's market on the weekend and you can smell those beautiful flowers and you can smell um, like a food cart or something like that with um, some beautiful chocolates or something. I, that's how I describe it, basically. It's just really interesting and really pleasant to smell. Um, now, Superworld Unknown, I just don't feel like the name really does this justice. I feel like when I heard the name Superworld Unknown, I was thinking like space. I was thinking like a way out there perfume, like very earthy and woodsy with a huge hit of citrus and just very intense in that respect. But this is completely nothing like it whatsoever. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised by it. I really like it. Now, in terms of longevity, this is a really great perfume for that. It is 12 plus hours. Uh, definitely going to last you all day. You're not going to have any problems with longevity in that respect. So yeah, definitely recommend it in that way. Um, my thoughts overall. I think it's a five out of five. I definitely think so. I think this is something that I'm definitely going to gravitate towards and continue to come back to. Um, it's a very nice fragrance. It's very pretty. I keep saying pretty and nice. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it is. Um, but yeah, like I said, it just has that beautiful floral from the rose and it's really well balanced. And yeah, that sweetness is definitely not too much. Definitely not as sweet as you would imagine it to be. It's just really nicely and subtly done and I appreciate that quite a lot and there is sort of almost like a powderiness to this as well just a little bit of a powderiness it's not over the top or anything like that it's just that perfect 
amount where it doesn't smell old lady-ish or take over the scent or anything like that. It's just, yeah, it's just there. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I sincerely appreciate all the support I get here on this channel. Please stay tuned for more reviews like this. But until next time, take care and I hope to see you again. Bye for now.